Hey everyone, Steph here. Welcome to War of Wizards Overview. Initially, looking at the screenshots at trailer, I really did not expect much and was ready to trash it as much as possible. Realizing afterwards that this project graduated from App Lab with already some population going on. And after playing a couple matches, it really seems like the saying don't judge the book by its cover would be applicable here. So War of Wizards is a spellcasting MOBA tower defense game where you need to put your drawing skills to the test, creating various shapes in air and casting spells according to what the system thought your of artistic abilities and dominate the battlefield leading your army to the win. Let's start with the fact that obviously the environments, art style and maybe special effects are possible, but the rest is just absolute no-no for nowadays standards. Luckily for this game, the gameplay saves the day, bringing a concept that I don't think has been done ever before. There are like multiple things going on. First of all, you have one lane, or maybe even two, depending on the game mode selected, though it's essentially an enhanced tower defense as you being the tower that defending your units, healing them, also creating new ones through special spells, controlling the surroundings and looking at what opponent is drawing, dodging it and just kinda mayhem scenario that could very fast go out of hand. What I appreciate about it is that it's very engaging in a way that you want to keep playing, creating your own strategies and challenging enemies, having this old school MOBA syndrome where you get addicted to the gameplay and trying to perfect your own game style. I still think there's a lot of things to upgrade from, graphics aside, the UI is kinda in your way, aiming system also not necessarily consistent, and overall presentation needs some general polish for the future. But building gameplay on top of what's currently happening, I see some big potential and it might be not a pure MOBA in the same sense that League of Legends or Dota is, but Essence is kinda kept here. Let's go cast some spells. Welcome to War of Wizards. In the next few minutes, you will be trained to be a wizard. What the hell? Enemy minions are attacking our turret. Destroy them. Aim at the enemy minion and use your staff to attack them by pressing the button A on your controller. Awesome! The magic patterns are engraved on the magic crystal, and the corresponding spell can be released by drawing the magic pattern. Let's begin learning the first spell, Imperial Instruction. Magic can be cast by drawing the corresponding spell by yourself. Its size and accuracy will affect the magic's power. In order to start casting a spell, press and hold down the primary index trigger on your controller to prepare to draw your spell. A spell casting can only be successful if its accuracy is above level C. Perfect. Now, to release the magic, press the primary hand trigger to convert your spell into powerful magic and cast it. Well, I'm trying. Primary hand trigger? That's not that, it's a grab button. Great, you successfully used the Magic Imperial Instruction. Casting spell requires mana, which is displayed as a yellow mana bar below your health bar and cannot be cast when the mana is insufficient. Mana will be restored naturally. Additional mana can also be recovered by hitting an enemy mage with a normal attack using controller A button. The mage with the red health bar is an enemy and is usually controlled by another player. Defeat the enemy. The blue health bar represents your speed and the red health bar. When the mana is insufficient, 
you can normally attack the enemy mage through the A button of the controller. After hitting, it will reward additional mana recovery. That's a lot of rules going on. Defeat enemy mage with the fireball spell. Some of those drawings aren't that easy. Excellent. Fireball requires you to aim the controller toward the enemy's position. Marvelous. The enemy has been killed. Now the enemy is waiting to be respawned. Meanwhile, he cannot make any moves during the counter. Use this period to expand our advantages. Our minions continue to charge the enemy's magic crystal. Help them approach Good. and destroy the enemy's crystal to win. If your crystal is destroyed, you will you have killed the enemy. Kill the reward. offensive spells your you cast cannot do direct damage to turrets. Therefore, the main strategy of the game is to use your spells to help the minions approach and destroy the turrets. Excellent! Good! Probably in the actual Good. matches, I know the real deal. You have killed the enemy. Kill victory. Like the actual drawing thing is pretty interesting. I don't think I've ever seen before. But the overall execution, like this, is worth twenty bucks. Ready for battle. Three, two, one. So I'll just start casting anything really. Have spawned. Excellent. Great. Second dodge. Okay. Oh my god. I'm doing bad patterns. Casting random stuff. Great. Uh, uh, great. 
Great! Stupid ghost. Perfect. What did I hit? Excellent. Good. Great. <laughs> you have killed the enemy. <laughs> Kill reward. The team sends an extra squad of men. Great. Great. I need to work on my precision, most likely. Perfect. Victory. Somehow. Okay, that's the actual main menu. Damn. I kind of want to play one more, but... It would be nice to read some spells, cause... This is quite epic with insta-kill. I mean, my loadout wasn't bad. Three, two, one. I think it's also a mistake to focus on those little the minions have spawned. Excellent. Pew pew fireballs. Like the big ones really matter. Great! Excellent. Also, maybe smaller size drawings could work better. Great, excellent. Starting to search the following spell. You have killed the enemy. Kill reward. Your team sends excellent. An squad of minions. Great. Yeah, maybe smaller is the way. <laughs> Great, excellent. That works. Great. Oh. <laughs> Perfect. You have been killed. 
killed. I meet. Good. Perfect. You have killed the enemy. Excellent. Apparently, I can't draw a triangle. Great. 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 Victory. There is something to it. <laughs> I feel like I would like this game way more if the execution would not be just so gutter. Like if it's with the graphics, special effects and just overall visual aspect. I don't think I would mind it that much. And there's also flying. I forgot the name of this animal. <laughs> there is a great potential with the gameplay presented. It's mixing pretty much like two words, making it some sort of a spellcasting MOBA tower defense situation. I probably did not even see anything to be fair. There is also MR, but yeah. Other 360s are available as well, but it's not like they are of high quality. The whole mechanic with drawing spells and releasing them on the battlefield Pretty cool. I don't think I've seen it before. If I did, correct me. The accuracy is rather decent unless you really are bad at drawing. If it's something heavily strategic, I suppose it depends on the selected spells in your loadout. Cause some specialize in killing the opponent and some influence the whole field. So that really depends on your personal playstyle and then there's a rather decent variety. I think you also buy them and... I mean, that's just a huge selection here. That's very interesting though, because in the classical MOBA games, you would buy champions and like heroes, but here you buy drawings that let you cast spells. That's a different approach to the gameplay. So I think overall I would keep an eye on it. I just am a bit disappointed that the graphics are so bare bones that it just hurts to look at. But then again, it can only go up from there. I think there's a room for growth. Like it's not a limit of the capabilities the developer put themselves into. But either way, I appreciate the concept, even though it's not like perfectly polished.